cheese. Great cat. Ah. A rabbit. Hello, uh, everyone. Whatever. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Watch With Us. Today, we are watching House of the Dragon, as per usual. We are on episode five, and <sighs> I... I'm not prepared. Neither am I. Yeah. We were having, like, a whole conversation before yeah. we started this, so we were not really prepared. Yeah, this is completely our fault. I, in fact, yeah. I know it's rating on IMDb, but I don't know the title of the episode. <laughs> it's a 7.9, by the way. Okay. Episode five is called Regent. Regent. Yes. The last episode, of course, we had the momentous battle at Rook's Rest. Yes, Rook's yes. Rook's Rest? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you didn't know it either. Before we continue, we'd like to make a retraction. Apparently, Egon did not die. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is our last video, actually. We're just kind of checking in to tell you that we're ending the series. Because right, because Rainey's died. Rainey's died, to, and Aegon didn't. Yes, I have to hold you to your promise. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if you want to support us further, you can go to patreon.com slash positivity. That's P-O-S-I-T-V-T-Y. There you can get all these videos early. You get the full reactions. You get unedited essays. I don't know, that's so intense. You also get to uh, vote on whatever you want to say on the channel, so it's a great way to get more content for yourself, but also support us. And you can also just join for free if you'd like. Like and get quick two minute previews of the videos like weeks before they go up on YouTube. Yeah, you know what? I'm missing a lot on Patreon. I'm not on there, guys. And every time Alex tells me, like, hey, new videos up on Patreon, I'm like, I'm such a fucking idiot. Why yeah. don't I just pay the one dollar to watch it? Yeah, right. I have to say, and I'm probably gonna gr regret this by the <sighs> end of this season, but I'm starting to love Eamon oh, yeah. now. He's in his revenge era. He's like so sassy. He's, I just love a sassy guy. I've made a lot of videos about, like, why don't people hate Soldier Boy? And it's because Homelander is so terrible. Aegon is so fucking awful <laughs> as a king. When Aemon shows him up in, like, High Valerian, you're like, fuck yeah. Oh, <laughs> this bastard. I struggle to call Aegon, Aegon just evil. I think he's, he's not more, evil. He's, he's more incompetent. Like, yeah, exactly. He, he's certainly more hateable, but I don't think... <coughs> Aemon would be a better king, though. He would be much worse, I feel like. Because he is calculating and also kind of sadistic. So let's just put Rhaenyra on the throne. Right. The king is marred. At the very least. <laughs> I don't know what Aegon's state is gonna be like. Yeah, is he gonna be like able to move? Is he like bed bound? What's the dealio? Is he like Viserys too? He's missing an eye and half his face and he's gotta wear the same mask. That'd be pretty wild. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, we've heard that this episode is a little bit slower, but we probably don't give a fuck. I am kind of in the mood for some conversations. I really want to see people's reactions to what Aemond did, even if he didn't even, like, mar him or successfully kill him, right? I hope Alicent is able to hear about it, hopefully from Cole, maybe when they're fucking, because mm -hmm. Cole's gonna need some pussy to, to kind of cool off right. after his major failure. <laughs> it was a Pyrrhic victory. Yeah. They did get Rook's Rest, right? They got Rook's Rest. Yes. But Rook's Rest is rather small and useless. Yes, but it is the last land um, hold that the Targaryens have of Westeros. Now they just True. have Dragonstone. Things are really bad, yeah. It's not looking great for them. It's really just up to Daemon to get that army. Uh, in in um, the Riverlands. Which... Is he gonna... He's barely focusing on the conversations to get the army. <laughs> he's fucking dazing out in the castle. Yeah, but is and he he's gonna... like, maybe I should just betray her. Exactly, yeah. I, I do think he will, yes. I do think, honestly, Damon will be betraying Rhaenyra, especially after that dream where he cut her head off. I was like, okay, he is... And I'm gonna hate that. I mean, get ready. If you like Damon, I am going to hate that. I We already don't like him, or at least I don't. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, no. Yeah. He needs someone to come for him. Not the time. <laughs> get bonked. You, yeah, he needs to be bonked. <laughs> you need to be bonked for that one. Bonked hard. Aw. They were such a great couple. Right? Like, they actually loved each other. They, ha they had a sex life, even though they were old. In episode three, <laughs> I... <laughs> They're not that old. <laughs> they were old. I didn't even touch that. Yeah. <laughs> In episode three, I was like, one of them has to die, because this is, like, the most functional relationship right. we've ever seen in these shows. It's so unfortunate. Yeah. Except for the fact that 
he might have a bastard. He might have cheated on her, but we don't know. We don't know who Alan, uh, Sir Alan is, who saved his Corliss's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it seemed like he's a he, bastard. He was a bastard. Your mother, his, yes, must have been. And she quite seemed beautiful. like at peace with it. Yeah, I know. Because obvious, she's the best character. She in the said it wasn't his fault. Yeah, exactly. They had to kill the, the character that people liked. Oh no! Wow. By your king. By your king. That's not true. Yeah. No, Maylis doesn't deserve this. Right. Maylis was such a good girl. This is a black omen. A black omen. These people are not happy. Yeah. Because they know more wars to come. Mm. They're like, oh, I can't wait till a dragon comes back and burns us all for yeah. no reason. <laughs> when I'm just trying to fucking farm my sheep. Farm your sheep? Yeah, farm till my land and herd my sheep. This is an abomination. Though they realize we won the battle. <laughs> Strange victory. If it was one. I'd call it Pyrrhic. Yes. Like it is technically a victory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look proud, buddy. You did great. Did Cole already tell her that he looked like me? Because, listen, I am... She I am, just knows he's up to something. Well, I am almost <laughs> certain that Cole thought and saw Aemon trying to finish Aegon off. Yes. Now that we know that Aegon's alive, especially. Yeah. Um, so, I wonder if he already told Alicent about that. You know what? I really need to see him. Oh, God, Alicent. Is she gonna blame herself too, for? Of course she is. Egging on, egg on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Is he alive? He didn't look like this that in the last episode. For the moment. Yikes! Ah! 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 Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, his armor. Shit. Oh. Ugh. Okay, so he is definitely disfigured. Yeah. Pus squelching. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Yeah. I'm not sure if you should be here, Allison. Oh! Yikes. How is she not vomiting? Uh, it's just she's. I'm going to die. Had three I'm kids. I cannot say. Now, if you'll excuse me, Your Grace, these next hours are most critical. Damn, I actually. Okay, so maybe he might not live. Yeah. He's alive right now, but I'm not sure if he'll live through this. I don't know. That uh, Grand Maester, I forget his name. He's pretty competent. <gasps> How? <sighs> wow. Good thing he's knocked out. <laughs> I have so much more trouble with this than you. You're like, ow. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. Look, one side of his face. Someone mm -hmm. moved a rule in his stead. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, how convenient. <laughs> Alicent. She will. Alicent. She's the queen mother. Alicent. Right? But, yeah, I mean, like, he doesn't really. Does he have a claim to um, rule in his stead if he's still technically alive? You should address me as my king. Oh, we're on to my king now? What would you call the husband of the queen? Well, the king. There it is then. Consul. That last bit seems unnecessary, don't you think? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, God. We're already in fuck this guy territory. <laughs> but now we must name a regent to take his place. Until he recovers. Uh, and who shall it be? Did you have a candidate in mind, Your Grace? I myself served Miss Rolf, my husband. I am well prepared to do it again. You played your part admirably in a time of peace, Your Grace, but circumstances have changed. Ugh, Fuck God. you! And here I had forgotten. <laughs> Obvious choice is his immediate successor. No! No, no, no! Eamon is young. Just because he's a man. And his lack of restraint has already cost us dearly. At a time when we must show strength. Lord Laris. I agree, Your Grace. It must be Prince Eamon. Yeah. Fuck! Mm -hmm. 
What would it say if in response to Ramirez's crime and you raised up a woman of our own? This episode is so annoying. But, um... The hand speaks with the king's voice, Sir Kristen. What say you? Okay, well, he's not getting a look at the feet. Eamon is the next in line. He's not getting any. <laughs> I joke. That's bullshit. That's a great man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that's bad. <laughs> so we can't have a woman fighting another woman. What? <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> the dog is yeah. still around. All right. Oh, he's following cheese though. Yeah. He's like, no. no. Or he's just making sure blood is dead for good. He's like, <laughs> stinks. Presumed you'd be here. <laughs> Stay faithfully to the Prince Regent's commands. Aemon is the next in line. It is the order of things. You know what he is. What he has somehow become. Has your loyalty faded, or does it flourish only at night and flee the sunrise like a moth? <laughs> what I saw at Rook's Rest. What? What did you see? Now is a good time to share yeah, this information. Melted. Not before. Oh. There were men walking, they were on fire. They were going to talk about Eamon. I, I will not deny you have tried my patience of late. <laughs> I would prefer a council more inclined to champion their queen, but you and your house served my father well. And I know you will never accept the high tower claim. Not while I live, your grace. Yeah. We cannot challenge King's Landing without the Riverlands, but I will not send a message by Raven for Dane to disregard. <laughs> Reason with him. Impossible. Find out his state of mind. Whether he means to raise a host for me or for himself. <laughs> he would not dare. Uh. You know, Dame to lack in daring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he would. <laughs> I'll send good men to see to your safety. Have you any message for him? I see you. <laughs> Tell him I would much like to finish our last conversation. Hmm. Your grace. I love how he heard that his bed was made of weirwood, and he's like, can I... He did not think about changing it at all. So can I sleep somewhere else? For real. I'm getting some pretty weird fucking dreams. <laughs> the river lords have come, your grace. They wish an audience. Now... What godless hour is it? The wolf. They are demanding to speak presently. You weren't exactly asleep. You were just laying there with your eyes wide open. <laughs> yeah, but he's all comfortable in bed. That's true. He was like also seemingly naked. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Yeah. What are the river lords doing? <laughs> When he said the wolf, that he meant like that that was his answer to what hour is it? Yeah, the hour of the wolf. Is that midnight? I don't Maybe. Know. <laughs> See, I must begin here with a lesson in etiquette. <clears throat> Failing that in proper fear of your Targaryen master. Is there some reason you feel free to wake a king in his bed? Stop calling yourself a king. The Blackwoods have exploited the war for the crown to visit atrocities upon I their have old seen rivals. Their share of their quarrels, and I tell you, there is no honor in a fight such as honor. this. What of common decency? These beasts proudly carried the banner of House Targaryen. Red dragon on black. Uh oh. Yeah. Go away. <sighs> no. Bro, right? Like, he's not even talking to his children. <laughs> we should have expected nothing more from a man who ordered the slaughter of a child in his mother's arms. That guy's dead. I lie, and I will have the man who told it brought before me. Oh, your man is half the kingdom. 
know this interloper. The Riverlands are an ancient place, watched closely by the eyes of old gods and new. And dragon or no, we shall not raise our banners for a tyrant. Uh oh. Damn, he is fucking up hard. Damon. You fool. Such a goofball. You silly. <laughs> yeah, right? That's a cool transition. Transition. Yeah. Doesn't look evil at all. Right, no, guys? He looks like he will leave the, the kingdom fairly. I expect a long reign of peace under uh, Eamon's rule. Eamon's one eye. They're his regency. Yo. Was it worth the price? Yeah, of course she knows. Yeah. You idiot. Who? Egon. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone out and fought oh, with his yeah. dragon. <laughs> <laughs> for what? What is the mood at the twins? He wishes for the phrase to be granted to Harrenhal. At war's end, assuming. I'm proud of you, Jace. Okay. You've done our cause a great service. So, it was sanctioned by her. Then... I don't know about sanctioned, but time. she's... Yeah. I, was, I had a feeling it was like, you did great work, but don't ever do that mm -hmm. again. You do not give me leave to go to anything. Oh. But who else is there? Rhaenys is dead and Baylor cannot bear the burden alone. And when Aemon comes hunting for you? You have two large enough to stand against Vagar. They are called Vermithor and Silverwing. And they sleep just beneath our feet. Yes, right. if they had riders, none could stand against me. I would go for the instructions. Damon looked at one of them last season, if you remember. I don't. There is Raina <clears throat> at the end. You nearly lost her life in her last attempt. Now Raina's got this. Raina's gonna get one of the biggest dragons, and she's gonna fucking mm -hmm. take on Vagar. I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah, me too. There are those of our line who never ruled. Those who married into other noble houses. Their children born with other names. The dragon will only accept a dragon lord to ride it. Also say the histories. <laughs> Valyrian histories, <laughs> written to gild us in glory. Facts. Wow, he is. He's kind of woke. Yeah, right. Atali. It's better than death. Atali. Ha! He's like, oh, well, <laughs> could work. Yeah, if it there are works. here, surely, of our line, and of those who fell out of it. Right. You were just looking at one of those books. LOL, he actually had a great idea. Yeah, he kind of actually... I was scared, but he fucking made his move this episode. There could be a bunch of dragon riders to try. It's a mad sword. <laughs> right? But just crazy enough that it might work. Vermithor and Silverwing, yeah. I, I believe the one we saw was Vermithor at the end of last season. He was ginormous mm. and scary. Lots of stuff going on that episode. Yes, again, a lot of buildup, which people don't like because there's not a cool dragon fight. <laughs> I feel like this episode would have gotten 0.3 higher on IMDb if Damon had just burned the Brackens. <laughs> they would have been like, yeah, dragon, right. yeah! <laughs> it's still an incredible episode. Uh, the scene selecting Regent was probably Probably my favorite and the tensest for me out of the episode. Al's had trying to prevent the inevitable from happening. I right. was like, God damn it. Only one that sided with her was Orwin. The Grand Maester. Grand Maester Orwin, um, yes. Who is an absolute king. We love him. He's great, yeah. yeah. He also helped her, you know, with the unborn baby. Yes, that was he great. He keeps a secret mm -hmm. for her. He's just a G in general. Like an unspoken G is so few lines. He but... really is, yeah. <laughs> He's just going around being nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Eamon's um, girl boss era, even though he's not a girl. Um, god, it's gonna be so bad. It's gonna go so well. Oh god. I really, there was a, like a, a huge amount of 
sexism in this episode. Like a there lot. There really was, yeah. <laughs> like a lot of it. <laughs> I did like, though, that, that Rhaenyra ended up making peace with Sir Alfred and ended up being like, listen, all right, you and I don't agree a lot, but you are steadfastly loyal to me, and I do need to give you credit for that. So can I, you go talk to Damon for me, please? Because he will not <laughs> listen to women. I did appreciate that moment, yeah. <laughs> and the ending revelation, I think, is very smart. You get more dragon riders on our side. Yeah. But also, what about Reyna? I feel so bad for Reyna. Give her a mm -hmm. dragon. Yeah. But she almost died, apparently, last time yeah. they tried. So, so maybe now is not the time for her. Later. Which sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Or really there's sucks. like dragons down there just waiting. But anyway, if you enjoyed this reaction, uh, go to patreon.com slash positivity. That's P-O-S-I-T-V-T-Y. And there you can get all these videos early and all the other, you know, perks I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And also remember, you can join for free. So you can just create a Patreon account and join us and get some cool previews of those videos. Um, but uh, we will see you guys for the next episode. House of the Dragon. I'm excited to see where it goes from here. This was a plot building episode, so things might get a little wild next time. You never know <laughs> with the show, honestly. <laughs> you know, premiere, we had, you know, children dying, so right. it's kind of yeah. like a, a toss up. <laughs> but we'll see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>